Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over by far the grossest and most disturbingly disgusting backrooms level that I've ever found. So watch it at your own risk. If things like intestines and stomachs make you queasy, then you probably should click off. But if that stuff's all right with you, then you're gonna enjoy the video. The level in question is backrooms level 504, and it takes place inside of someone or something. So uh, let's get into it, shall we? Backrooms level 504 is classified as a class 4 difficulty and is unsafe, unsecure, with a pretty high entity count. But there's also multiple environmental dangers here as well that we'll get into. The level itself is a hot and steamy one with no natural light, so you're gonna have to bring a flashlight if you get sent here. And it regularly stays at over 100 degrees in this entire level, so be aware of that. Now, as I said at the beginning, the level actually seems to take place inside of a creature or a humanoid of some kind, specifically inside of their entire organ system. Because the walls, the floor, the roof, and every other part of this level are all made up of this slimy flesh material. And all of the entire level smells like acid and ammonia. The level is split up into six parts, which are all disgusting, and I'm gonna get into them right now. When you first get sent to this level, you'll start inside of a set of tubular hallways with a mouth visible behind you. Now, the mouth is always very slightly open still. It never shuts and it never opens even further. It just never moves and is stuck in that position. On the other side of the mouth, there is this tubular hallway that goes straight down and I guess it's supposed to be the throat area. No one knows what it is for sure, because it's the back rooms and we have no idea, but we do know that it leads to the stomach of whatever this level is. Now the stomach area is extremely dangerous because of the acid that puddles up inside of it. The stomach acid is so dangerous and acidic that if you make any contact with it or touch it, it can literally just dissolve whatever touches it. Oh, that sounds pretty fun. Now to get around the stomach, you'll have to find a pathway of exposed flesh and hope that you get across before more acid covers it up. Inside of the stomach, there's also some floating digesting food that is of an unknown origin and no one knows what it is or where it came from, but there's stuff floating in it, which is gross, man, that's disgusting. Now, after you make your way past the stomach area, there are a set of hallways, which are thought to be the intestines system of this creature thing. The intestines are pretty windy and bendy, and they're actually the coldest spot on this level. It's unknown why that's the case, but Oh well. This area supposedly smells the worst out of everywhere on the level, and it smells like a rotting barn. Nice. But that's not surprising to me considering you're inside of an intestine. And this area specifically is where you're most likely to run into your first entity. The entities themselves don't have a specific name, but most of them in this entire level are worms, parasite type deals, and they kind of just burrow into the flesh and climb on top of the slimy walls and that kind of thing. These in the intestine won't really attack you and they're kind of passive and stuff so you won't have to worry too much about them but you will have to worry about the entities that I'm gonna explain later on now the intestinal caves are also pretty silent there's been barely any noises here which could potentially be dangerous because even though it's quiet these intestine hallways randomly shake and convulse and twist together without warning and if you're inside one of them when it happens uh, you probably won't ever be seen again so just watch out for that. Now the next area of this level is like the brain space area. This is an open cavity with a brain in the middle of it. The actual brain looks human, but for some reason it's massive and the floor of this entire cavity under the brain is made out of bone. Now this part of the level is warm, just like everywhere else, but it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell like nasty rotting ammonia like the other places. It is said that it smells like a butcher shop though, which still probably isn't good. The brain cavity is also flooded with cerebrospinal fluids, or brain fluid for us non-sciencey people, and this liquid coats the walls, the floors, and the brain itself. Speaking of the brain, there are big holes inside of it that you could crawl up into if you're weird or crazy, but it's thought that a mysterious entity might live inside of those brain holes, so I would not recommend going in them, but more on that later. 
the next area is the wooden tunnels, which is probably the most random and maybe even the most disturbing part of the level, as if the entire thing isn't weird and disturbing. The wooden tunnel area is the only part of the level that isn't fully fleshy and slimy, and it appears to take place inside of the largest intestine of the entire area. And this intestine has wood bores and planks nailed into its walls, floors, and ceilings, but no one knows why. Like, why would this random wooden hallway exist so far down into this creature? Not every part is covered, and you can literally see the fleshy, rotting material of the intestine through the wood, which is gross. And like I said, most of the flesh behind the wood seems to be decaying and rotting, almost like the wood has unalived the intestine, which is weird. Things like maggots and bugs have been seen crawling through the cracks in the wood boards too, which just makes it even more disgusting. No one knows who made these tunnels, no one knows why they exist. They're just wooden tunnels in the intestine of a level. Just another day in the back rooms. Now past these wooden tunnels, there is one last section that's been found so far, and it's the decaying intestine section. These are just rotting old sections of the fleshy tunnels that you were in earlier. Most of the entities on this level actually live inside of this specific part, so it's very dangerous to venture that deep into the level. And there are a ton of entities that can be inside this level. Most of them, however, are just types of worms, including the worms from earlier. There's also a giant tapeworm that slithers through the hallways, kind of like a basilisk, and it hunts down prey using vibrations. So if you start walking around and making noise, then it'll hear that and come to you. Oh yeah. Most of the entities either live in the intestine or the brain area, and they'll try to attack you using surprise attacks and that kind of deal. They'll just look over your shoulder every once in a while, and you should be good. To enter this absolutely disgusting level, you can go through any door that's shaped like a mouth on any level, and you'll be sent here. And to exit, you can find the very end of the intestinal tract to be sent out, or you can find something floating in the stomach acid <laughs> and touch it to be sent out as well. Thank goodness that's over. That was absolutely disgusting. That's it for the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching to the end. Now, if you are still watching, comment intestine brugly so I can leave a heart on the comment so I can tell who the real ones are. I try to heart everybody's comment that I see. And if you're still watching, I also have a secret for you. I will be dropping merch in a couple weeks. The designs are finalized and I'm taking the product pictures right now. The merch drop has been named by me, the truth in the illusion. So it's such a cool drop. I cannot wait for y'all to see it. It'll be dropping like the 12th or 13th of December. I'm so excited for this. More information soon. Stay tuned for that. Thank you for everything you do. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. And I'll see y'all in the next video.